Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Country Cuss Hump Day Report here, and by golly, you went out. We are freezing here in Georgia. It is 29 degrees outside. We had rain all week, so we got mud puddles, and now we got ice puddles. Well, you can go walk out the yard and get on the uh, ice and slide around if you want to. I'm not going to do it because I'm scared I might fall and break my contract. And that ain't a good thing. But anyway, we're going to have a slap still lesson today, but it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to zoom in. Of course, we all like that zoom in because I want you to see what I'm doing with the lessons. But today, and somebody asked for this on my uh, lap steel guitars on Facebook, and if you're not a member of that, I'll put a link down in the description box where you can go down there and join. You can join it, and I'll have to approve you, but that's fine. I'll approve everybody that comes on there now. Uh, we do got some rules we going to follow, and the number one rule is the same rule I got at my house. And that is no fussing. Nope, nope, nope. No fussing, and we try to keep politics off it. We don't care nothing about the political stuff. We All we do playing is music. Now, we can put our music videos up there with some lap steel on it, and we'll all watch it and have a great time, or somebody else got some lesson and techniques and tips for life still, put it up there. And I will say that on my picking lesson, I use a guitar pick and I pinch it between my fingers. And I'll show you that because I play the guitar and I'm not used to using the metal finger picks. I tried it, and they always go flying off. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but. Uh, Razzy Dad over there, and I might even put a link to him. He got a great uh, video on left right hand picking technique, and that's because he's right handed. He puts his three picks a thumb pick and uh, his first and second finger pick on, and he shows you how to play. <laughs> in that neighborhood and but what I'm going to do this morning, I'm going to zoom in before we even start, I'm going to play single notes because Texas, I doubt you're watching this video because they still out of power. So, folks, if you got power and you think it might go off, please prepare to stay warm because you won't have no electric. And if you don't have a fireplace like I do, what you need to do is get you a coffee can or a can and some bricks to put it on and roll up some paper and put some alcohol. I'd prefer using the uh, alcohol to sell at Home Depot called Denatured Alcohol. It says right on the clean, clean burning fuel and you can light it and produce heat with it and it won't 
put carbon monoxide poisoning in your house. That's a thing that's very dangerous with these. I've got one out in my shop called Mr. Heater. You hook it to a little propane bottle, a great little heater, or you can put it on your big propane bottle like you use on your fish cooker or your fryer. But the only problem with that thing is it puts off carbon monoxide poisoning and it can actually kill you. Especially if you leave it on and sleep with it overnight. I had some friends of mine years ago that run a nice big greenhouse up in Perry, Georgia, or right up the road from me, Warren Robins or Perry. But anyway, they had a greenhouse and it was cold one night and they was worried about the plants. So when they was a young couple, like 30 and 25 and 30 year old girl and a man and wife, and they walked, they went out to the greenhouse and fired up all these space heaters and you know it got warm and they felt like wow it feels so good and you know how the greenhouse it started sweating and little droplets of water would fall down on the plant. So they decided to take a break. They laid down in the floor or somewhere in there and fell asleep anyway. They found them the next morning dead from carbon monoxide poisoning. So, y'all, please don't do that. Stay safe. This is just a tip from Country Cuss. I hope you already know that, but just in case you don't, there it is. Anyway, y'all, let's zoom in for our lesson. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Zoom In here. I hope, I don't know, but I'm hoping everybody can see this. I got it zoomed in about as good as I can get it, I think. Uh, I wanted to back my shit up, but I'm always running over my cord back here. Let me get it. All right, I got that out of the way. All right, the technique I ought to be showing for the fingers, it should be shooting the camera probably right here. But like I say, if you're not a guitar player and you ain't been used to holding a pig like that all your life, I would. Recommend using the thumb pick. I just can't use it. It gets in my way. But we mostly gonna be focusing on the bar. But you know, uh, picking is is. I'm gonna try to keep my hand up here. But picking. <laughs> picking that uh, this uh, fifth string because that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, when I'm playing, let's say, let's get something slow to start with. And picking don't necessarily have to be... You hear that? Now what I did, now anytime you see me pick a string, let me keep, try to keep you in the camera. Alright, see that finger right there? It actually touches that string first, cause listen. Here I If, if I don't, if, listen if I do it the other way without using a finger one time. Now, uh, 
see. Ah, you could, while that's going on. Just playing that one string. And when I'm playing, I, I don't do a whole lot of. down for and like let's say you start kicking off a song Thank you. 
fading picking, and I've taught it. But I start off by hitting the third string and slide. player use a lot of and that's alternating picking between two strings any key by the way then I slide up a whole step and do a string, string skip that means I'm going
Now go the whole step again. See how it sounds? So it sounds like this. And then I'm doing a whole. Hear how that sounds? I'm skipping.
boy. And what I'm doing now, I'm going to an eight flat. to a B, seventh flat, then to a D. Vince Gill CD, and uh, I think the name of it's the Long Black Train, but anyway, that song's on there, but uh, Vince Gill, mm, uh, some lady singing, and uh, I sat back here and play along with it a lot, and I just create slides, ins, and slide outs for it, and then I'll practice picking it out, but that's the way you practice, folks, and, you know, you uh, listen to that CD, and you figure out what key they playing in, and uh, like I said, I got a George Jones and Vestal Goodman CD, which Vestal is my kin folks, and uh, her and George Jones went up to Nashville and made a gospel record, and they use what they call modulation a lot. That means they'll start off in the a key, and they like to drop down two or three keys by halfway through the song, and boy, that'll throw you off now till you get that figured out. <laughs> but anyway, I want to wish each and every one of y'all a very happy hump day. I don't think it's supposed to warm up, and the bad thing is tomorrow is uh, day's hump day. Tomorrow's Thursday. We got severe thunderstorm warnings and more torrential rain coming tomorrow. We had one, uh, no, we had two tornadoes uh, Monday. And it killed one person, destroyed several homes down here south of me in South Georgia. And it was pretty bad. It got lightning and thunder. And I come in here and unplugged everything in the music room. Like I told y'all, unplugged stuff because lightning, even if it ain't switched on, it can still run through the wires. So play safe on that. But I want to thank y'all for stopping by. And then uh, Friday we're going to have back to the 20s and Saturday extreme cold so winter just hanging on and won't go away hope y'all people got power up there in the north area and y'all got more snow and ice coming y'all's way too so y'all stay safe and hope you stay dry see y'all uh, for the Sunday report if I don't do something Friday night y'all
Y'all take care.